In 2022, nearly 40 million tourists visited Las Vegas, making it the most visited city in America and one of the top destinations in the world. For decades, Vegas has been dubbed the entertainment capital of the world because it simply features endless, ultra-luxurious and extremely large casino hotels, among many other entertainment venues. And it is not all just about fun because it also now ranks as the third top destination in the USA for business conventions. It is, by all means, a true global leader in the hospitality industry, claiming more AAA Five Diamond Hotels than any other city in the world. This made it a city of innovation and endless mega projects that are just stunning construction and engineering marvels. Here are some of the biggest upcoming mega projects in Las Vegas. Construction of the $3.7 billion Fontainebleau Las Vegas Resort has been a long time coming. It took so long to complete due to financial and legal setbacks. Nevertheless, the project is now complete and it is set to officially open in late 2023. It is already being hailed as the first ultra luxury mega resort hotel to be built in Las Vegas in 15 years. The structure is quite huge as it rises 68 stories or about 225 meters in the sky, making it the second highest building in Las Vegas and even the state of Nevada after the Stratosphere Tower. The stunning colossal resort stretches out over 2.75 million square meters on the north end of the Las Vegas Strip and boasts 3,780 guest rooms in total. It will be a definite top competitor with Vegas' top giants such as Caesars Resorts and MGM. But unlike the other resorts that feature multiple resorts across Vegas, the Fontainebleau has it all covered in one location, which sets it apart from the rest. In fact, it is conveniently located right next to the Las Vegas Convention Center, making it the perfect choice for business travelers and conferences. Hence, the resort has put a lot of focus and emphasis on big conventions and corporate events via its various specific amenities, including an enormous 32,000 square meter main ballroom. And needless to say, the guest rooms are set to be ultra luxurious. The average room size is 152 square meters and features floor to ceiling windows, attractive decor, and sleek postmodern luxury furniture. And with as many as 30 food and beverage outlets, including five star rooftop restaurants and even an elevated tavern, we can only guess that choosing will be the most difficult part. And of course, there will also be a 52,700 square meter casino and two levels dedicated just to luxury retail shopping. This shopping area is cleverly merged with the rest of the resort, so you won't even feel that you entered and left a mall. We do not know much about the resort's main nightclub, however, with a mad unparalleled bash promised on New Year's Eve, Vegas insiders are saying that it will definitely join Hakkasan and Omnia as one of the hottest clubs in Las Vegas. But we do know that it will feature an amazing day club on its eight-acre pool deck on the ninth floor for those who never tire of pool parties. This resort will definitely be the place to stay and go to while in Vegas. It will also transform North Vegas, an area that is quieter than the Vegas Strip. Design-wise, we can only say that it is marvelous, sleek, and out of the box. The brilliant mind behind this mesmerizing architecture and interior design includes big names such as Carlos Zapata Studio, Bergman Walls & Associates, Peter Arnell, NYC-based Rockwell Group, and London-based David Collins Studio. Another quite magnificent off-stripe destination set to open in late 2023 is the $750 million, 71-acre Durango Station Casino and Hotel on Durango Drive in Southwest Las Vegas. This facility is quite amazing and is inspired by the warm colors and vibrant landscapes of the desert. The highlights of the resort include 25,300 square meters of casino space, seamlessly blending indoor and outdoor socializing spaces, a hotel tower with over 200 luxury guest rooms, 15 restaurants including four signature food outlets, state-of-the-art race and sports book, serene pool space with private cabanas and event lawn, 6,100 square meters of meeting and convention space, 40 electric vehicle charging stations, multiple bike lanes to access the property with ample bike parking, and many other intriguing amenities aimed not just for tourists but also for locals. 
Upon arrival, guests will immediately be greeted by natural stone-clad floors and walls. The hotel lobby has relaxed energy and effortlessly flows into the lobby bar, where cozy nooks, cool sofas, and one-of-a-kind art pieces create the perfect chemistry of conversations, relaxation, and a sense of place. The state-of-the-art resort will also feature a double-sided 18-meter-high, 16-meter-wide marquee display with high-resolution technology boasting over 6 million color LED pixels that will illuminate the casino site with engaging content pieces. Even though construction began in 2022, with more than 14,000 cubic meters of concrete poured over 625 tons of steel, the resort is almost complete and is set to open in November 2023 pending regulatory approval. Our next project is not about resorts and hotels, but rather transportation infrastructure. Vegas and Los Angeles have a very special relationship. The people of LA and visitors there tend to visit Vegas quite a lot. With more than 50 million trips taking place between the two cities every year, mostly by car, it became a necessity for Vegas to connect the two cities via a high-speed rail. And of course, California welcomed the idea. This collaboration gave birth to the $8 billion Brightline West High Speed Rail Project, which includes a 65,000 square foot two-story Las Vegas station. The all-electric high speed rail service will include a flagship station in Las Vegas, with additional stations in Apple Valley, Hesperia, and Rancho Cucamonga. At speeds of 300 kilometers per hour, trains will take passengers from Las Vegas to Rancho Cucamonga in just two hours and 10 minutes, twice as fast as the normal drive time. It has also been hailed as an environmental milestone since it will reduce carbon dioxide emissions by more than 400,000 tons per year. The Rancho Cucamonga station will also be connected to Southern California's regional Metrolink service, allowing for fast and smooth travel to downtown Los Angeles and beyond. The project was given the final green light in July 2023, and construction will begin in late 2023. It is expected to be operational as early as January 2027. The next project on the list is our favorite Vegas mega project because it is truly unique and perhaps the first concert, sport, and 3D shows arena of its kind on earth in terms of scale, scope, and technologies involved. It is the world's first most gigantic and technologically advanced four-dimensional spherical structure on the planet dubbed the MSG Sphere and is set to open on September 29th, 2023 with a deafening concert by the band U2. The $2.3 billion and counting MSG sphere at the Venetian Resort in Las Vegas is like no other structure in existence, with an exterior that features millions of unique LED lights that turn the exterior of the huge 54,000 square meter structure into a colossal display screen that can be programmed to appear like anything programmers want. The interior of the sphere is a colossal high definition 16 K by 16 K resolution wrap around LED screen, measuring a mind numbing 15,000 square meters. It covers almost the entire interior's curved walls and roof, turning it into a real life metaverse. In fact, it is more intriguing than being inside a metaverse because it features 4D effects such as wind, scents, and climate controls that magnify the experience of the custom-made shows on the giant screen. We made a dedicated video about this stunning and quite intriguing MSG Sphere project, so make sure to check it out. Our final Vegas mega project today is a unique new $8 billion city within the city called the Blue Tech Park. Blue Tech Park is an ambitious project that promises to combine retail and office space with housing and entertainment in a seamless, sleek manner that makes it truly futuristic and 100% green. This mini city will be constructed with net zero buildings, artificial intelligence, robotics, and renewable energy sources. Even even the pavements, hallways, and public places will be designed so electricity is produced from footsteps. It is simply an amazing technologically advanced utopic city from the future. Construction is still in the planning, but we will be sure to bring you the latest once the first shovel takes place. That's it for today. Let us know your thoughts about these projects and Vegas in the comments section, and please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thank you.